Every He-Man woman hater needs one of these things. Every He-Man woman hater. So we got this saw. Oh, that's right, you're not a chainsaw. We had one more chainsaw, but we gave that to the next door neighbor. He's gonna make like some scooter or something out of it. Out of all these that I'm aware of, though, this one works and this one works. The other three just need work. But I'm gonna invest my time in the blue one. Blue one looks the nicest, the blue one looks the newest. Yes, yes, I'm done flexing my saws. There's not much to flex here, only two of them work. The chainsaw, or also known as the tool that I almost hurt myself with, or I did hurt myself with, or oh honey, the tree is on the house now. <laughs> we actually just took a tree down at my new property just recently. Cole was a savage, an absolute savage, got up in the tree and started cutting this tree down, and he did it with a saw that barely wanted to start and run. We got Mr. Cole. The Savage Daily, up in the tree, he's gonna make this cut. I have a little bit of debris in the gas tank. I'm gonna go ahead and put new gas in there, put it in there, you know, shake the saw up a little bit, and then drain the new gas out, and that way we flush the system. Okay, I kinda jumped the gun a little bit on the whole story I was gonna tell you. There was a, there was a tree right next to my house, like right on top of the house, and we want to build a new house. So instead of going ahead and leaving that tree there, we went ahead and cut it down because if it fell on anything, it was only going to fall on the old house and it wasn't going to fall on my new house. But the thing is, the first limb we took down, it crashed onto the internet cable and we lost our internet. Just like that, we put the new gas in there, shook it around, dumped it out, and now we're putting this stuff in there. These were by far the hardest carburetor screws I've ever taken off in my life, and I've taken a lot of carburetor screws off. to get our inspector gadget on. Here's something really interesting. Right here, I haven't felt the gaskets yet. I haven't touched them to see if they're hard. But what I have noticed is right in here, there's a bunch of gunk in there. Let's hope this diaphragm is soft. It is soft. We have a chance here to fix this without ordering any parts or ordering a new carburetor, which is good. What does that mean? Instant gratification. It's all. Pause real quick. It's all sprayed up, all cleaned out. Let's put it back together. So you're doing 3D machines, torn to the chainsaw a little bit more to hopefully find a solution or find a problem that would result in a solution. And I found that the fuel lines are bad. 
one of them peeled off and then I pulled another one off and now they just all have to be replaced so now I'm gonna look those up and if they have a carburetor uh, with it I think I'll buy that too usually nowadays they just sell everything as one kit and you're ready to rock and roll and if that's the case then we'll go ahead and do that because finicking with a carburetor just isn't efficient nowadays. The prices of carburetors are so ridiculously cheap that you're better off, even if you know how to fix them and you fix a lot of them, the time that's spent adjusting it and everything and cleaning it out, you're better off just buying a new one. So let's do some research on the old internet. You girls won't be seeing any trees fall today. Don't let their camera shyness offend you. They're just in their own little world. to find some gas lines in an old toolbox when I used to do this stuff years ago. Uh, so I got it all fixed up. Let's see if it's gonna work for us. Let's go ahead and adjust it. See if it. Uh, yeah, see if you notice a difference. Lever a little bit higher. See if you like that adjustment better, Mr. Lumberjack. Is that better? Now that's a reliable chainsaw we can use in the tree. So then you're not, you know. Sitting up there trying to pull all the time. So you're the baker. This is your cake. How do you want to go about doing this? Just like we did the last one. Climb it and just take it off piece by piece. I mean, now like, we can get it down and probably, including the branches, probably five pieces at the very most. Maybe four. Okay. You want to do it that way? Yeah. Whatever you want to do. You're the I mean, lumberjack. That that's, that's got a severe lean. Well, I just don't want to take him down. As long as it doesn't touch the power line or the cable line, I am yeah. completely fine. Along with the Duramax in the water, obviously, but. I have to say, the funniest part about cutting this tree is we're not even worried about the house. The house didn't even come up on that list of things to be concerned about. Is that good or is that bad? <laughs> That, that was perfect, I have to admit. Kind of with the sauce for you guys. Don't eat a sauce. 